So we booked this trip six months ago for Epcot's anniversary. And we didn't know there was a hurricane coming. Even the morning of our flight, the storm was forecasted to turn west. And it was believed the impact to central Florida would be minimal. But as you know, the storm evolved into Hurricane Ian, which came right through Orlando, impacting many Floridians in horrible ways, especially those closer to the coast. We were fortunate to be inland in a Walt Disney World resort and weren't hugely affected. What you're about to see is our experience during Hurricane Ian, how Disney handled the situation, how cast members and characters came together to create magic for the kids and guests impacted by the park's closure. The following video is different than what you normally see on this channel. It's more of a personal vlog. It's our adventure with friends through these strange events. So how about you come along with us on this adventure? And one of our friends that we're hanging out with on this trip is Just Ask Danny. How's it going? Where are we going first? Well, we're going to get my bag and then we're headed to Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so this is the wind map. What do we think is going to happen? They're going to close down the parks. So the theory was maybe an early closure on Wednesday and then potentially an all-day closure Thursday. Danny's got us prepared. He bought a bunch of snacks and supplies, so. So we rented a car and we've hooked up Danny's phone to the CarPlay. Finally. We're, yeah, we're using Waze. The Waze voice is actually the same voice as the guy from the Living with the Land. At least that's what they say online. So he's, he's gonna tell us where to turn and about fruit at the same time. Yeah. Did you know? I know. The up here, you have to make a right. And if you look to your right, you will see some oranges. Those are the native fruit of Florida and they could grow 85 feet tall. To quarter of a mile, exit right. And the trip has officially begun. Half a mile. Yay. Yay. We got horses on the wall. Oh my god. Horses with bucket hats. Look at this photo. This painting. Love it. You think they sell that in the gift shop? Maybe. Probably. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. What's the behind art it? Behind that. I think it just comes down on top of that. I don't think it does. It's got its own legs. Oh, look at it. That's so cute. Look at Donald and Daisy. Where is Chippendale? Where are they? I don't see them anywhere. They're at Disneyland. That's true. Yeah, look at how big the shower is. Wow. What's in here? The bathroom. Look at this tub. We decided to go to dinner at Disney Springs, and of course, we had to have Boathouse, which Danny has never been to, and he's never had the famous dinner rolls. Are you ready for your life to be changed? So I've heard. Oh wow. They're like honey butter or something. Four out of five dandies. <laughs> I've never been here. Pinterest said it was awesome, so I had to do it. I'm and glad you loved it. 10 out of 10. 10 yes. Out of 10. And it's already raining, but the fun rain. has begun. One of my number one hurricane essentials pro tips you gotta stock up on food, water. So we're getting the essentials, we're going to Gideon's. Cookie? Yeah. Okay. We've secured the goods. We got six cookies. This should last us. One night. For one night. So if you go to the grocery stores, all the water is cleared out. But Danny was smart. He ordered some water on Amazon to our hotel. And now, if we get stuck here, at least we got some water. It looks like Disney World and Universal are going to be closed for the next two days. So we decided to go to Target. <laughs> all the carts are missing because so many people are buying stuff for the next two days. So let's find some essentials. We were able to find gold. We were able to secure a cart, which uh, Nick is guarding with his life because... Yep. I didn't take it from an old woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in a Target in Orlando, but they have so many, <laughs> so many Disney stuff. Also coming from LA, this Target's probably like at least twice as big as our Target. Just like huge. Wow, this place is like cleared out. People bought all the tomatoes and not just tomatoes. They bought all the bananas. Our plan is for Ashley to make us some tacos. <laughs> Which one? What? I got you guys. Which one? <laughs> okay. Um, 
25 percent leave that big one right yeah let's get this and then we need the taco we, we have lots of options here i think we yeah. need more than one of those though because that's not enough for all the people <laughs> okay so this is the bread aisle yeah check this out Danny wanted to make toast he so, wanted to make toast for me because he's like what do you like with your eggs and i'm like toast did he see that there's no bread is your phone going off again Keep here, we keep hearing emergency alerts going off all throughout the store. We just realized that there might not be tortillas in our whole taco platter. <laughs> <laughs> what, did we make taco salad? <laughs> we can make taco salad, I guess. Okay, I guess taco salad, we dip the chips in it. What, what is this? I don't even know what any of this stuff oh, is. Yeah. Danny, there's no bread. Like pretzel sliders? <laughs> there's pretzel buns. I love pretzel buns. But Irish butter, is that okay? Sure. Butter for what? I don't know oh, the difference. Got bread. Well, for cooking eggs. So are you down if I make a taco salad and we get tortilla chips and dip the done? Are there chips? About it. <laughs> are there chips? You guys, is this gonna be yeah. the walking dead? No. <laughs> like, are we done? What's happening? There's no strawberries, but there's there's blueberries. So maybe I'll get some blueberries. Yeah, look, it's a hard oh. Mountain Dew. So it has Baja Blast. Dude, I bet you that's good. Watermelon Mountain Dew. Hard. It's zero sugar. Two breakfast days. Eggs, egos. We don't have syrup though. And we don't have ketchup or barbecue sauce for this. Where's the taco taste? We need to work no, we need smarter, to, like, not harder. Not get saying. things that require condiments. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So we need to so get the things. lettuce go or is the lettuce something oh. that we need? Can we have a small thing of shredded lettuce? Yeah, that's what I'd rather have. Okay. Let's get a small thing of shredded lettuce okay. for tacos. Okay. The cold, we can all agree that the cold brew is something that we need. Yes. 100%. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't, but I get it. <laughs> I wish we had bread. I know. There's no bread. <laughs> We're going to get in. Thank Swifties. you for Peter for finding this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Peter found, but they have freaking raisins in it. That's oh, fine. I want that. Peter. You know, we can make McMuffins with these, with the turkey bacon and raisins. Sandwiches. Okay. I want to <laughs> We have two days worth of lunches. I feel like the dino nuggets need to happen. We just need to get ketchup. Let's get ketchup from room <laughs> service, or we go to the front dining area and demand ketchup. They have that. Let's not spend the extra money. Okay. They have ketchup. They have hot sauce. Do we need a third bag? There's two bags of goldfish at the house. <laughs> she said grab another one. Okay. Who said that? I said there's a lot of goldfish here. Danny, are you sure Peter you Peter put that one? in the cart. Peter, that's, that's a, that's a Peter do you need question. these? Peter put this in the cart too. Yeah, I wanted snacks. Okay, yeah. okay, if you need snacks, you're getting rid of the Oreos. I'm not judging you, I'm just saying. Look at his face when he grabbed the Oreos. He was so ready to throw them away. Okay. He doesn't want them there because no, you know he, he knows he'll eat them. This is good. I don't think we need these if we have the raisin things, but if this makes you feel good with butter, then get it. No, I just got it because I thought someone else might want well, it. Well, it requires a condiment, we don't need it. Okay. okay. Goldfish, you can put them back. Goldfish can put back with two bags. <laughs> <laughs> I lettuce. like how we're like. Well, lettuce. we have one and a half because you already opened them. I ate three scoops, not half of it. <laughs> what is happening? Chips have been kind of decimated as well. So we just got back to the hotel room and we noticed there's this big lizard on the ceiling here. And then we were walking further and we we're like, oh my god, there's another one. And then look up, Peter, there's one right there. What the heck is going on here? Why is there so many lizards? I want to protect them from the hurricane. Should we bring them in? Give them shelter? I feel like they're not going to make it. Right now, I think we're in a lull. Yeah, it just seems kind of like a quiet before the storm. There's a little bit of wind. As you see, there's not like a lot of debris or even leaves or anything. But I guess in a few hours, it's gonna pick up. Even though now the eye of the storm is going right over Orlando, the per the forecast is showing Thursday at 8 p.m. It's already back into the Atlantic. See, I love that like Danny's become like the weather person. I know, I'm trying to keep everyone up to date because Kendra's like, can you just tell me <laughs> what the updates are because I don't want to follow. <laughs> First thing I did when I woke up this morning is I literally didn't go on my phone, didn't look at the news. I came out and I asked Danny what the latest update was. Because <laughs> he knows. That's why he's called Just Ask Danny. Stuff at the resort closes at 3 p.m. So we're going to head to the lobby and see what's going on. We, we didn't bring our... Uh, oh, it's starting to rain. This is not good. Okay. Right when we go outside. <laughs> what the heck? Your 
Like, okay, look at the horse paintings in the lobby. I, I, this is my first time in here. So the cast members here are incredible. They've set up like this whole trivia thing going on here. There's like a trivia board. There's like crafts going on. So we're going in the artist palette. This is like the quick service and they also have a store and stuff. So over where you get all the food, very crowded. People are loading up, trying to get their food fixed before everything closes. Over in the food section, they have actually exclusive meal kits just for the, the hurricane. And it's, this is what they have available. So a lot of people are buying these, taking them back to their room. Actually, it doesn't seem like that bad of a value. Surprisingly, the pool is still open too. We didn't think it would be, but it's gonna be open until the storm kind of hits again. This is what it's looking like on the coast right now. And obviously, we have it much better. And it's starting to get a little crazy outside. Skies are gray, trees are moving a little bit. It just started raining like super hard. If you look closely, Disney Springs is like right over there. It's not humid though. It actually feels nice out for once. So right now we're on a mission to go down to the water because Nick has his GoPro. We're gonna set up a time lapse. Oh, it has kind of already flooded over here. seeing some branches and stuff. The walkways here. Oh wow. It's flooding. We're at Sar Saratoga Springs and it's right across from Disney Springs. We picked this location so we could walk up over the bridge and go over there but it's closed for the next two days. Disney, what are you doing? <laughs> it's flooded. Perfect spot, but it's a little risky. <laughs> What's so risky about it? So on this ledge, you kind of have like a sign over here, but there's like a metal clamp on the base. That oh, ow! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, the rain's starting to come down. We're gonna get inside and be safe. We found a vending machine here. So if we need, we got some chips, we got some candy, buddy bars. No Coke Zero. They have an What the heck is this? Nick, says try it. There's an ad for a Coke Zero. What the heck? So how was it out there? It's, it's wet. Okay. This is just the beginning. It's gonna uh, get worse. Nick almost got eaten by an alligator. Yeah, it's true. We did. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, we went out there. We had to put it on the water. Try to put it on the light, and they're like, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so so and then we saw a sign next to it, and it was like, watch out for snakes and alligators. <laughs> we already saw the see-through geckos last night that scared them. They were like upside down, like hanging. they were so cute. I loved them. I wanted to, sh I wanted to shelter them from the storm and bring them in here, but I thought nobody would. I think they like liked that. the water, though. I think that's why they were hanging out there. Did you see those big white birds? No. Oh. Okay. Well, I think you should put your clothes in the dryer. Okay. You're like dripping all over the floor. I'm f I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Many hours later. Okay, so we're going back out to get the GoPro and the wind has gotten significantly uh, a little bit tougher, but it's, it's still not that bad. But there is a lot of stuff on the ground here. A lot of twigs, branches. I think this is all flooded right here. Shoot. They closed up the trash can, so you can't put anything in. Should we turn around or go the other way? I think let's, let's start, try to climb over it. Furniture, and I'm locking the door. 
because I was just in our room and I could hear things like slamming already. And it's not even close to like when the hurricane actually gets here. Ashley's in the middle of making us tacos, as she promised. Yes. What's the update on the storm? Okay, so the latest update that they said is it's gonna hit at 2 a.m. to Orlando, and it's gonna be 80 miles an hour, category one, and it's gonna last from two to seven, and then mosey on through. So there's five categories. Five, four, and three are like the worst. That's where there's like catastrophic damage. And then one and two are a little bit more mild. Um, but the power probably is still gonna go out. There's, we're gonna see trees falling over and that sort of stuff. Yeah. But it's a, category one's like the lowest. So it's still a hurricane though. Like originally we thought we were just gonna get a tropical storm, which is I think the next thing under category one. So I'm getting. I'm <laughs> well, getting don't worry, we got. Shrek. We got tacos. We got Shrek and tacos. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Yeah, and we got carb balanced tortillas, so we're actually being healthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this rain looks a little insane. I think we started to hit. It's like 9 p.m. It's gonna be a little bit until it actually hits here, but we've hit the edge. We've, we've hit the edge wall. So now, we start to play Uno, which is Ashley's favorite game. <laughs> okay, so it's now midnight and it looks like it's completely flooded down there. The rain is getting a little bit more intense. It looks like it's almost like lightning over there, but I think that's like a big screen over in Disney Springs that's like lighting up the sky. Shuffle them together, right? Put his hand over the deck, right? Uh huh. That's Ashley's phone number. Did you know my phone number? There's no way. <laughs> Super wet, super rainy. Not too windy at the moment. I think the worst of it hasn't gotten here yet, but it is like definitely flooded down there. the next morning and let's see how things are out here. We saw on Twitter, part of the building for Jurassic Park ride got blown away. Yeah, there's a lot of flooding all around Orlando that I've been seeing on Twitter. A lot of flooding and some building damage. This whole area down here was completely covered in water last night. Yeah. And now the water's all sucked out of it and there's just a bunch of debris. And yeah, this resort doesn't seem like it took that much, like, damage. I mean, at least from where we are, we don't know. But looking on Twitter, there's there's a lot of around the surrounding areas that did. And obviously, Florida as a whole has a lot of damage. We're going out for the first time today, and they've already started cleaning up. Like, the cast members here are incredible. I didn't think it was going to be, like, already the next morning them doing this. Honestly, we just talked to some people who live in Florida and they actually said that it didn't seem like that big of a storm, at least in Orlando. I'm sure on the coast it's a much different story. Our rental car is fine. Well, look over here. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a storm like this to leave like this much debris. I'm from the Northeast originally. I mean, we used to have like blizzards and stuff, but not like this. Oh, wow, there's a big tree over here. I was almost gonna say like a cast member like put it over in the corner to get it out of the way, but I think it actually just came from that tree or something. But look at that. Oh yeah, when we checked in, I was filming this fountain over here and now it's like covered in some tree branches. Look at that. Yesterday they were only doing meal kits. Today they had the full menu. And they, they have cast members here cooking up the magic. And they do have a bar and grill in this DVC resort. 
and it looks like it might actually be open today. And I was just walking outside and I caught some of Mickey's friends walking through. I think the best part of that was, well, first of all, seeing all the kids light up as Goofy and Pluto walk through the lobby, but seeing Goofy show some love to the cast member who's like helping to clean up. I don't know, I, I love that. That was, that was cool. And of course the pool is not open. It's raining right now, but there's some like debris laying in like the wake here. And I think the cast members have probably kind of put it off to the side of the walkways. The walkways are pretty good. It looks like they've just been sweeped up. I honestly don't know how interesting any of this is watching it on the vlog, but being here in person and, and being in the middle of it, it is kind of crazy. Uh, we didn't book this trip as ending on being in a hurricane. We actually thought well, when, when we were at the airport, it was actually veering off and we thought it wasn't actually gonna hit as hard as it did, so. Yeah, the hot tub is kind of filled with leaves. And then over by the pool, there's definitely some, some branches and leaves on the ground. I'm actually really surprised at how well Disney has handled the situation. And especially the cast members who are all in there trying to make kids happy. You know, kids that had planned to be in the theme parks and they're now stuck in a hotel and like playing games with them. They're trying to bring the happiness when obviously things are not how they should have went. Like a lot of these people booked their vacations for the 40th of Epcot probably a year back and you know, had no idea that they were going to end up in this situation. I love how they just have characters coming around. So this nice family told me that they're going to the community hall and I'm following them and we're going to see what you can do over here. Looks like normally in the community hall they have like activities like animator class, Mickey tie-dye, some board games. And we found the other chipmunk in the arcade. That was amazing. I had no idea they played arcade games. So cool. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> we, can't, we can't just steal their, their... Yeah, we can't just steal their... They're not edible. Yay! It was honestly just cool seeing the characters interact with all these kids and bring so much happiness to their life. They were all just so having so much fun like playing games with Chip and Dale. We talked to some cast members while we were there and one of them, it was her second week on the job. She was part of the ride out crew, which means that she's housed here. She was like, this resort's amazing. But all the cast members were like so happy to be working here and like to be bringing happiness to all these kids and stuff it was cool disney world and universal were closed for two days and tomorrow on friday starts the phased reopening of those resorts our hearts go out to everybody affected in in florida yeah and all the amazing cast members who were so helpful and in such good spirits and really made our you know this horrible situation a little less horrible yeah i'll put a link to a Central Florida food bank that if you want to donate in the description below. And uh, we'll see you on our next adventure. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs>